you're moving or you bought that dream car you always wanted, or you just need to ship a car for whatever reason. Driving is not always an option, and choosing the best auto transporter can be tricky, and car shipping has changed a lot over the last few years. Whether you're shipping by an enclosed or an open trailer, you need to avoid a possible nightmare. I'll show you how to choose the correct auto shipper to just about anywhere in the world and how to choose a top company you can trust. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time to the channel, we do a lot more than first looks of new cars and car reviews. We give you car smarts because we believe knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss anything. If you go online and you search for car shippers in your area, you will find hundreds of them that pop up on your browser. And you can call or you can book it online, but this is where the scams, the delays, the overcharges can happen. If you choose a random shipper with a slick website or didn't do your homework, that can happen. The best way to avoid car shipping scams is to make sure you don't pay up front. Many companies will ask for payment or deposit before they've even located the carrier that's gonna get your vehicle. You should not pay a carrier in advance. They will have your car and your money, and you should always pay on delivery as they already have your car as collateral. Now, transportation costs vary based on mileage of transport, the vehicle weight, the type and location, and of course, whether it's enclosed or open. Seasons and current demand in the market can also impact pricing oversized and inoperable vehicles, they're gonna cost extra, obviously. No personal belongings can be in the vehicle. Carriers pick jobs based on how much they get paid for that pickup. So if the rate is low, it'll be hard to find a carrier, even though they may promise you that's a great deal. Carriers pick their jobs based on how much they get paid for that pickup. If a rate is really low, it may be hard to find a carrier to get your vehicle to its destination. All of these tips and a lot more in my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car, there is a link down below. It's important to check with your insurance company on coverage to make sure you are covered for the transport. The carrier vehicle must have 50 to $100,000 of liability transport insurance. That way you are insured that you don't fall victim to a scam by making sure the company provides you with a copy of the carrier's information, a copy of their insurance policy. You also want DOT numbers and how to contact that driver. This will allow you to track your vehicle. It's not always about the cost. Some of the lower cost carriers will move your vehicle multiple times and then you have to wait for another carrier to pick up that vehicle to get it to your destination. We've seen this before and there can be severe delays while they wait for the next carrier. Choose the wrong company and some of the bigger nightmares include the vehicle shows up weeks beyond the promised date damage, of course, and carriers without insurance and drivers that just don't respect your vehicle. Shipping a car is not like shipping a package. Once that vehicle leaves, it will not arrive overnight. Deliveries in the U.S. have roughly a two to four week window from when the car is picked up to its destination. Always inspect the vehicle for damage before it's loaded. This will occur again at the delivery location, and that's when you pay the driver. Here's the bottom line. There are message boards and there are shipping companies. Both are options. Personally, I only use shipping companies and I use Dynamic Auto Movers. There's a link in the description down below. If you need to move a vehicle, Dynamic Auto Movers uses top rated carriers, which is important whether it be open or enclosed. They offer discounts for military, seniors and students. And no matter who you choose, always check out your review with transportreviews.com. You can find out if a carrier damages cars, they won't pick them up, they won't fix them, or they won't drop them off on time. And that would be a nightmare. So now you know how to ship a vehicle the right way. If you got value from this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if I didn't answer your question, you have additional questions about auto transport, put it in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Don't forget to check out our all new website, carcoachreports.com. It's in English and Spanish, and we have some new contributors as well. There's always news in the auto industry and you can follow that on my social media at Lauren Fix. I'm on literally every social media platform. And if you're still looking for more cool car information, check out our podcast, Total Car Score. We're having a great time. It's on all platforms as well. And of course, thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.